a lot of people that are on social media that are on TikTok and they also have business accounts but they're not marketing their businesses correctly and in today's video we're going to discuss how to get those customers so that you can get the money from them and we're going to speak about how to attract them how to nurture them and how to convert if this is something that you're interested in then you need to subscribe to the channel and of course like the video comment below and enjoy so before you go in and start losing your mind and forgetting what i'm talking about i'm going to tell you two things that you need to remember so the whole video is important but the first thing that you need to remember out of the two is that you need to include a call to action in all of your videos now before we get started let me know if you like the new setup i like it i like my little plant okay and here's my candles so you need to include a call to action a call to action in your videos tell people what to do after they see your content now not every content has to have a call to action but it's always nice to include it after you make a video tell people hey don't forget to like or don't forget to comment and let me know what you think about this video or those are call to actions those are called call to action because they're letting people know hey after you do this this is what you need to do next i know it sounds like it's something that is so simple that can be done quickly but customers need to be reminded people need to be reminded on what to do next after they watch your video so the second thing that you need to remember is what i quickly mentioned is that your content on social media on tiktok specifically needs to have three goals in mind and that is to attract customers that is to convert customers and that is to sorry that is to nurture customers you need to nurture them first and then you convert the customers so when you're creating content and you're sharing content filter it through on what the purpose of this content is is it to attract new customers is it to nurture the ones that are already on my page what do they need to know or is it to convert the ones that have already been seeing my content and interacting with my content to turn into customers so what is the purpose of this content now let's not waste any more time and start talking about how to market your business on tiktok so that you can get the customers that you want and obviously grow the business that you are in step number one is set up so let's talk about setting up your account there are so many people on social media and on TikTok and on Instagram and all the other social media platforms that open business accounts, but they haven't set up the account. They haven't completed all of the information. Now, the reason we say that you need to complete all of the information is because we want the algorithms. Algorithms are like little messengers that run around on the Internet looking for information that other people are looking for and then send it to them so we want your videos to appear in the algorithm and the algorithm is looking out for certain words so when you write a description in your bio write exactly what it is that you do complete that information i sell handbags uh makeup and hay in houting you can put in houting as well but the more information there is in your bio or your description, the easier it is for people to find you when they are looking for what you are selling or when they consume content that is related to what you are selling. So that's why we say complete all of the information, your email on how customers will find you, your, web, your website, you need to complete your contact details if you want to be contacted by phone number or by WhatsApp and you need to write what you do in full. So you can get creative because usually the descriptions are smaller. So you can get creative and just write a short paragraph. Now, don't forget to write your business name and your handle. It is important for both of these to be the same so that again, it's easier to find you especially if your business name is not related exactly to what you do it is very important to fill out the information now i've said what i need to say about filling out your information go look at your account and make sure you've completed all of the information and you've written exactly what it is that you do in your description 
The second thing you need to do on TikTok, and I briefly discussed this in my TikTok video about people that share content that is all over the place. It is so much easier on TikTok to get enticed into sharing content that you agree with or that you like or you feel emotionally strongly about but it's not related to your account. A lot of people come and like my videos when I talk about marketing and it's usually small businesses. I go onto their profile and I check and they're sharing uh, jokes, funny things and all of those things but that time they're in construction or that time they are um, you know, they're in a, a different type of business that's not like in comedy or require comedy simply because they got enticed, their emotions got involved and they reshared that thing. So if it's not, or they even, yeah, they reshared it on their profile. So if it has little to nothing to do with what you are trying to push, the brand that you're trying to push on TikTok, refrain from trying to share it on your business profile. I suggest that you open two TikTok accounts and you have a personal one where you can, you know, interact however you want to interact and share however you want to share uh, your emotions about a topic, politics, love lives, and all of those things. And have a, an account strictly for business. That is my suggestion. Because social media will get you getting in your emotions and talking about what you believe about men and about women and about all of those things. So make sure that you stay on brand and you know who your target market is. I know a lot of people, a lot of small business owners are like, yeah, target market, I hear this all the time. I need to find my target market. I need to find my target market. Your target market are people that are going to buy from you. In most cases, men are not going to buy scented candles. In most cases. Some will, but very few. So in the market, who is likely, the market is people, groups of people. Who is likely to buy what you are selling? Say maybe you're selling school uniforms. Who is likely to make the decision to buy the school uniform? That is your target market. If it's moms, then you know uh, to speak directly to moms in your message. You say, hey moms, if you're somebody that does this and this and that, this is for you. Hey moms, da 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 da, this is for you. Oh, uh, children really need this or children appreciate when their moms do this and this and that. So immediately you see what I'm talking about. Not everyone is going to buy from you. Not everyone is your customer. Not everyone buys Nike. Not everyone buys Adidas. Not everyone buys KFC. Not everyone buys Chicken Nicken. Everybody has different preferences and everyone is going to go where they feel um, their brand or whatever uh, is being put out there is going to resonate with them and it's what they need. It's uh, the same with Brave. There's Sasko, there's Albany, there's all of those uh, different brands. So not everyone is going to be like, I need to buy Albany and I need to buy Sasko and I need to buy, like I need to have all the different brands in my house. That's what I want. No. So that's why we're saying you need to look at your target market, really think about it, write things down, and then go back to it. When you feel like your message is getting off brand and you're talking about people that gossip and all of that, but that's not your brand, then go back to that and say, am I talking to my people? And if I'm talking to them, am I talking to the ones that have seen my content and I'm telling them, you need to buy now, I have savings for you, mom. I know it's January, it's difficult, single moms, uh, school uniforms, I'm gonna do a discount for them now in December before January comes. That is your message. And moms are going to be attracted uh, to your content being driven by the algorithm because it's reading that they like to look at content regarding moms and children and school uniform and all of those things. So I hope you understand what we mean by saying get your target market and speak to them directly. And it is important that the eyes that are on your profile are eyes that are going to buy. If you call people that love gossip, on your profile or you call people that like to dance and then all of a sudden you're talking about uh, saving your money and all of those things people get confused and you'll see that your content is all over the place and people can't place you anyway you have to have a specific voice a specific brand voice that is associated with you and what you are trying to achieve by being on social media so why are you on TikTok? What are you trying to achieve by being on TikTok? So make sure you have the right audience
by, con by posting the right type of content. Let's move on to the third point and it's one that you do not want to miss as well. Number two, we're going to be talking about quality. So I'm not going to write quality down, but yes, you need to create quality videos for your TikTok. Now by quality, I'm not just speaking about having a good phone and clear lighting and all of that. I'm talking about knowing what is on trend and what people react to. What you can do in order to know this is in your niche. Say maybe you sell, um, you make lip gloss. So in your niche, you need to discover what people are posting and how people are reacting to certain types of content. So if somebody posted, for example, they open their lip gloss and they're like, mm, and there's a certain video and whatever in the show, and people are reacting to that and saving it like, damn, I need that lip gloss, check out the, the, the comments on that video. So go to the Discover page on TikTok where you just use the little search engine thing and put in lip gloss business or put in lip gloss and see what videos uh, uh, are popping up so that you can react to those types of video like you can reenact or make those types of videos obviously with your own flair it's already working so if something is already working why not give it a go in your um, in your area in your region because sometimes it um, it counts whether you're in the US or in South Africa and you're posting using a certain sound or certain style or certain filter so that's what we're talking about when we talk about do creating quality content so you need to check out what sounds are popular you need to check out the hashtags that are popular in your country or if you want to target international then international um, uh, videos and so forth so I'm going to give you three ideas of videos that you can create in whatever um, niche or whatever business that you are in so you need to create a video or you can create a video sharing your products and how you make them and also how you package your products so if you have a lip gloss business again you can make a video packaging this or you can make a video squeezing the lip gloss inside and you know showing all of that so what that does is that it's speaking to people that would be interested in lip glosses it's kind of giving them um it's kind of giving them an idea of how they're gonna look when they put on the lip gloss Number two is showcase your product in action. So if you're in 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 um, in uh, product industry, again you're selling lip gloss or you're selling pens, you can make a video writing the pen so that people can imagine what it's going to be like, or writing with the pen so that people can imagine what it's going to be like to use your pen. Is it smooth? You're giving them uh, the feel of it, and people um, like that because when you're on the phone you can't taste something you can't smell something you can't feel it so we want to feel it through you we're feeling it through our eyes so when you are in the service industry you need to showcase your customers and how they went from point one to point two if you're in digital marketing how did your customers go from five followers to 20 followers in a month or 20 followers to 50 followers in a month so you're taking them through that in the excitement of getting more eyes on their account Accounts, you know so that is how you showcase all of that and then lastly you can share tips tricks so if you have lip gloss like this again if you want it to maybe last longer on your lips so you need to know what problems people might have when it comes to lip glosses you need to know what problems people might have when it comes to uh, pens so if you know that uh, your pen can write better even if it's upside down make sure that you uh, let people know and also care tips like remember to close your pen every time you finish using it that's a tip remember to like dip it in warm water if your pen is stuck and it's not writing anymore or you can suck it that's what we used to do if the pen is not writing anymore but yes those are some of the things that you can share in your tiktok videos you also need to make sure that you post consistently on social media now there has been times that i did not post consistently but i was consistently and actually even more getting followers and getting um 
getting likes and reactions to my videos now the nice thing is that if you post consistently like say maybe you post one video every single day you know that you can shoot a video and put it in drafts or you can even shoot five videos in a day just change your top talk about something and do something else showcase your product talk about your product and all of that so you don't have to think about new content every single day but if you do it all at once it is something that you can do it and then every day you just share it now i've noticed if you share it and then you leave it for a while um you still get that traction on your social media platforms because you have shared a lot of content that people over time um you know it just builds up over time more and more people come on and um, you know want to interact with your content because now the algorithm is sending it to them because now maybe people change all the time now maybe they're interested in business now if you talk about business the algorithm shows them maybe they're interested all of a sudden in doing their own hair the algorithm is showing them accounts that have to do with hair and all of those things another thing to get your quality content out there is to share it with or have uh, small influencers share your content now I'm not sure about TikTok, but I have used uh, a couple of influencers on Instagram with my other business and it did quite well I did get more eye more offers more followers and all of that so on TikTok, smaller um, audience people can work with you sometimes for free if you send them the stuff but then some of them want payment so if you have enough money uh, in your marketing plans you can definitely work with people that already have an audience i'm sure you've seen sponsored uh ads where people are posting about fanta and all of those things and it's your the influencers that you've been seeing on tiktok they are getting paid but there's also free content like tiktok is so good when it comes to like sharing uh, content that is not paid as well and I feel like it's a little bit more organic to um, to have your content shared by someone who's not an influencer and it's not written sponsored because most of the time as soon as it says sponsored we're like swipe swipe up bye <laughs> and that's something that companies don't uh, keep in mind too much or they have enough budget so they can waste a little bit more here you know here and there basically and then if you want to create content i'm saying so much guys you need to be writing down the notes if you want to create content but you're afraid of appearing on camera not everyone is comfortable it doesn't matter how much you keep telling yourself that you're comfortable if you're not you're not you can be with practice um you know it takes practice you have to do it often but if it's just not for you, it's just not for you. You don't want to have anxiety thinking about, oh my gosh, I need to appear on camera and all of those things. What you can do is you can either have your ambassador who will post on your, your behalf or you can have um, an influencer who will um, make content for you. You can even ask your little nephews or cousins and all of that because these teenagers are very comfortable on camera. <laughs> Most of them are. And also, you can have, um, you know, you can have them create content for you or teach you tips and tricks uh, or do the videos for you if you want uh, something done for free. But yes, think about having somebody else do what you are afraid of doing or think of ways to do what you want to do without having your face appear on camera. It is possible. You can check out videos, uh, faceless videos on um on TikTok. The fourth tip is for you to actually film your videos in TikTok itself. It can pick it up. Yes, it can. <laughs> so you need to use most of the features. You don't have to use all of them or you don't have to use them all of them all at once. You can use them at different times. And by features, I mean the um, TikTok uh, stickers, you can use uh, the filters, you can use the songs, you can use captions, you can use voiceovers, you can use, you know, funny effects. There's a lot. There's a lot in the editing uh, features of uh, TikTok and you need to take advantage of that because that's, that also gets picked up by TikTok that you're using this and you're trying that. 
And of course, you can use transitions or slow motion. There's CapCut that also does videos. I don't know if they are working together with um, TikTok, but a lot of the um, editing stuff, most people use uh, CapCut. We're moving on to number five. Number six is my favorite, so don't miss it. Don't run off. So number five, stick it through, please. Number five is incorporating lives into your strategy. Try to go live at least once a week. I don't have time to go live. Even if it's for one hour, <laughs> I've been running around. I do go live once in a while. Like I'll, I'll go live when I'm um, in the warehouse and I'm, doing, I'm making the candles and all of that. Then I will go live. But I'm not really interacting with people. And I found that people like it when you interact with them and you talk with them. And also when you go live, you get gifts, you get certain things um, that TikTok does pay. I'm not going to go into how you can get paid on TikTok in this video. I'm just going to talk about the marketing side of it. So when you go live, you can talk about um, how you started your business and any questions that people have. Or you can talk about attracting customers for your candle business or um, how others can start their own. Or you can talk about about you know life as a business owner and all of those things so there's so many things that you can talk about on TikTok live but it should be one of your things it definitely increases your likes and your followers quite a bit and it puts your account out there so think about going live as one of your strategies my favorite and this is the sixth and last tip that i have for you to market your business successfully on tiktok and that is seo search engine optimization now to put it simply search engine optimization is the little boss that i told you about that look for relevant content so search engine optimization just means that when those little search little thingy thingies <laughs> when the search things go looking for what i asked for your website your tiktok is going to come up because it's relevant to what i'm talking about so how you improve your search engine is that in your video talk about or mention what the caption is going to mention and what your video is about so for example you don't even have to show your face you can do a voiceover by the way guys you can talk about the best um cookie pen <laughs> let me just use a highlighter in case youtube thinks i'm saying other things that i'm not saying <laughs> but yeah you can use highlighter so maybe you're taking a video of uh this highlighter and you like talking over it if you say you've been looking for the best highlighter and you haven't found one because the ones that you have slip into your page and ruin your writing so if you are looking for the best highlighters out there for you for your books for your precious books this is one of the highlighters you see so i'm talking already in the with my voiceover excuse me with my voiceover in the video now um I said highlighters so in my caption I'm selling highlighters so in my caption I'm going to say these are the best highlighters for books and all of that it's picking up the video is about that it's picking up the caption is about that and then you use the correct hashtags at least three hashtags that are relevant to what you're talking about and also that are trending so if you want to know what is trending, here's a little secret and I'm going to put this in the description so you can click see more in the description to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to put this website, but the website is called ads.tiktok.com. On that page, you are able to search what is the latest trends when it comes to like hashtags and you're able to do it specifically in South Africa or do it in the US or wherever you are. You can also search for the latest songs on TikTok using this website. Now you have to sign up. I haven't signed up, but you can see the first three or the first three trending hashtags, the first three uh, trending um uh, audios and all of that so that is a great website to check out what other people are posting uh, how they are posting what are they saying in the videos what you pick up what could have made the video a little bit more successful so that is my last tip don't forget to subscribe please 
and thank you and i'm going to be making more videos on marketing if you guys would like that check out my tiktok if you want to chat a bit more there and yes i will be releasing a book soon that helps you write down everything and get your marketing and your small business in order so thank you so much guys and all the best with your business join me in the next video don't miss out share this with a friend <laughs>